today all right now yeah okay now uh did you guys uh, memorize the functions of the different parts of the ear sorry um our eyes yes sir yes hmm okay ahmed has not joined now do let me know once he joins okay do tell me uh, arhan aap ye batao what is the function of iris iris ka kya function hota hai Hmm. <clears throat> yes. Yes, the iris function is to regulate the uh, amount of light to the retina. Hmm. The regulate or uh, to regulate the amount of light that enters our eyes. That is the function of iris. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Uh, Arham, you tell me what is the function of the uh, of the cornea. स्ट्रक्चर Through which light enters the front part of the eye first. That is simply called mm-hmm. cornea, and the uh, tear gland that releases tear tear floats above it, right? Yeah. So the tear floats above it. Okay. Then you have other structures as well. What was the function of optic nerve? Arhan, you tell me what is the function of optic nerve? Hmm. Yes, sir. The optic nerves relay messages uh, from uh, hmm. our eyes to the brain. Hmm. So optic nerves will be carrying the electrical signals from the retina eye to, to the retina to the brain. Exactly, from the retina to the brain. Yes, sir. Ahmed, are you? Yeah, Ahmed, are you there? Yes, Ahmed. Assalamu alaikum. Oh. Okay, Ahmed, uh, were you present in the last class? No, yes, sir, he wasn't. He wasn't. Okay. Look, in the previous class, uh, Ahmed, are present in the previous class? Yes, sir. I believe it was maths. Yeah, it was maths. What about the science class? We have our discussion over the human eye. Were you present? No, sir. Okay. Look, we talked about the human eye. You have to revise them from the recording or from your book. Okay. All right. So, let me quickly revise what we discussed. हमने कॉर्निंग के बारे में बात किया वी टॉक्ट अबाउट आइरिस लेंस एंड अदर स्ट्रक्चर्स फॉर एग्जांपल अबाउट रेटिना एज वेल गेटिंग इट नाउ या सो आवर आई हैज आल्सो गॉट टू चैंबर्स वन वाज द एक्वस ह्यूमर एंड अदर वाज वन वाज द विट्रस ह्यूमर एक्वस ह्यूमर इज बेसिकली अ जेली लाइक सब्सटेंस प्रेजेंट बिटवीन द लेंस एंड द कॉर्निया दैट इज द फर्स्ट चैंबर राइट and then you have vitreous chamber also vitreous humor or vitreous yeah. chamber okay now why what is the importance of the vitreous humor the jelly like liquid present in this region because it supports the eyeball structure yeah. if there if it is going to be vacant then the eyeball will collapse yeah. so it maintains the it, it balances the pressure inside the eyeball that is the function Okay, what were the two types of cells present in the retina, and what are their functions? Sir, uh, hmm. so the cone, a uh, cone, a uh, cone, uh, hmm. cone. What is it called, sir? Cone cells and cone, cone, rod cells. cells. Hmm. Yeah. Do tell me the function of cone cells. Sir, the cone cells. Uh, it is. It. Uh, it. Uh, it helps us to see the primary colors. Uh, not only the primary colors, it helps us to see the bright light. It is sensitive to the bright lights, actually. Yeah. Okay, so in the bright lights, you will be only able to see the uh, primary colors. Okay, or yeah. other colors as well. Yes, so it sir. is sensitive, more sensitive uh, to the bright light. Then you have yes. the rod cells. Rod. Arhan, rod cells are sensitive to which color? Uh, which light? Bright or dim? The bright. Bright. Rod cells. R O D. Rod cells. There were two cells. Uh, there were two types of cells, no? The rod yes. cells here, and these are the cone cells. Ahmed, you noted down that 
in the retina in the retina there are two types of cells present one is the cone cells and one is the rod cells so while we are looking at the things in the bright light okay so the cone cells are active then because cone cells are sensitive sensitive to the bright lights while you are looking out at things in a dim light or during night then rod cells gets activated in the retina okay so rod cells are uh, active to the dim light they are the dim light now first may revise kar raha what were the structures present in our eyeball so amad you look here since you were absent in the previous class this outermost structure of the eye is called as cornea okay this is a very thin membrane then you have got another structure in your eye this is this is structure that you see here that is called as iris and then this gap here that you are seeing that is called as pupil through which light will be now entering in into your uh, into your eyes then you have got this lens over here okay and lens are attached to the eye socket via ciliary bended muscles are there so ye muscles aap dekh rahe ho these are the ciliary muscles right now when hum ciliary muscles kehte hain then whatever rays passes through the lens of the eyes whatever light is passes through it they will be converging by the lens kyunki lens light rays ko converge karti hain so they will be converging at the retina so image formation retina par hoti image formation occurs at the retina okay so i just given you a brief you will have to memorize the concepts memorize the function of all the functions of all the parts okay now as we know that the vision of the people might decrease with age why is it so why the vision will decrease with age can you guys think of the reasons for this arham marhan ahmed mm -hmm. also when the age uh, increases uh, mm -hmm. um less light uh, from the lens a uh, less light will be converging on the retina because the converging power of the lens might decrease mm -hmm. yes sir so the formation will be before the retina yeah yeah that might happen or what what might happen some people develop conditions like cataract yeah their the vision lens, becomes blurry yeah the lens uh, uh, is covered by a, blur, a blurry thing not a blurry skin we will come to that when we will talking about cataract okay all right now so with age people will be developing different types of conditions with age their vision might decrease normally you see a person can see distance distant and nearby objects through their eyes if a yeah. normal person who does not uses spectacles they can view the distant and nearby objects through their eyes only now a person with a normal eye can read and uh, read uh, things at a comfortable distance of 25 cm yes, least sir. distance of vision that is the least distance yeah. of vision however this least distance of vision might decrease uh, might decrease with age so that's why you will seeing that older people will zoom out into the newspapers and read it like this yeah right now so you see normally a person can see distant and nearby objects easily with their eyes without any aid without any lenses but with age what happens the least distance the least distance of distinct vision decreases this now for a normal person the least distance of distinct vision what does it mean the so least the distance which hmm, exactly the least distance at which you can read the things properly or you can see the things in a proper manner so that has been called as least distance of distinct vision for normal person how much it is it is 25 cm yes sir 
but for older people it will be lesser yeah least distance of distinct reason is less than 25 cm note it down okay yeah getting it now <coughs> no also you see uh, in some people especially in uh, it might occur in adults it might occur in child also it might be um, that condition might be in the person from their birth as well right yeah. what will happen they might either see the far things very clearly okay or some yeah. people can see the nearby things only very uh, clearly while the distant things can't be seen by them very properly yes, okay sir. so you see sometimes people can see far objects clearly but not the objects that are nearby them it so depends never, on the lens it depends on their lens exactly because the, the power focusing lens. focusing power the converging power of the lens has actually changed right yeah. now so uh, what happens the there develops a condition in them that is called as hypermetropia hypermyopia simply getting it now in which the person is able to only see the far objects okay so here you see people will be developing a condition called as hyperopia or hypermyopia in this what happens the refractive index of the eye actually decreases or by refractive index basically what do i mean i mean to say that the focusing power here decreases focusing power decreases now the question might arise that what is this refractive index i will come to that in a moment but let's let's move in a series manner okay in a sequence manner okay yes so there will might be condition called as hypermyopia in which on the person will be the person will be able to see distant object clearly okay but can't see the nearby objects properly nearby objects properly so this condition has also been called as far sightedness yeah other name for this is far sightedness okay now in this what happens the focusing power of the lens basically decreases so in that case what will happen what will happening the image will yeah. be formed image will uh, be formed image. before the retina uh, yeah okay so suppose this is the eye here and this here is the retina so the light rays that are coming across this lens will be converged before the retina yeah right yes, but sir. it should be converging on the retina so yeah so a lens will be used in order to fix this problem okay using the lens the problem can be fixed so then if the lens is used then the image will now be formed at the retina getting it yes. so this condition has been called as hypermyopia then you have other condition in which the people might be able to see the nearby objects clearly but the distance object won't be very um, properly visible to them right now yes sir so that has been called as near sightedness the person has got near sightedness or you can also call it as myopia actually the name is myopia other name for it is near sightedness yes ahmed arhan arham yes yeah. yes sir <laughs> sometimes you see people can see the near objects very clearly but not the far objects getting it now yeah. so leading to the condition called as myopia and can you guys guess what happens in this hmm? so the image the, the light is converging uh, after the retina after the retina yes sir yeah <clears throat> 
due to a strong refractive index of the eye. Look, we have not just reversed that. The diagram which I told you, look, if you see, if the refractive index increases, hypermetropia, there was a weak refractive index, no? There was a weak refractive index here. Hmm? Yeah. If the weak refractive index here is, what happens here? So can I tell? Yes. <laughs> the point of focus uh, in the retina it loses. <clears throat> okay, it loses. So where does it form? Yes. So after the retina. <laughs> mm -hmm. After the retina. Yes, sir. <laughs> Look here. This is our eyeball, let's say. This is the cornea and this is the lens. If the person is able to see the distance objects, if the person, so distance vision is clear, but the nearby vision is lost. It's not clear. Okay. Yeah. Then what does it mean? Is the image forming before the retina or after the retina? So after the retina. After the retina. Hmm? So that you will be using a lens of more power so that the image will be formed at the retina. Yes, sir. So if the nearby sight is lost, then what it shows that the um, focusing power of the lens might have what? It might have increased. increased no? It might have increased. That's why yeah. the, lens, uh, the rays are converging just before the retina. Are you guys getting it? Yes, sir. Look, there are not two lenses here. For example, lens magnifying lens one, magnifying lens two. Okay. Suppose the uh, focusing power of this is more. Okay. So the rays that will be passing across it, it will, let's say it forms, it converges here. While this one is having a lesser power. So the rays will be converging at a lo longer distance here. For example, yeah. here. Right now. Yes, sir. So this is basically what happens inside our eyes. So in the case of myopia, that is a nearsightedness, so what is happening? The person is able to see the nearby objects clearly, but the distance vision is now blurred. So nearsightedness is simply what is happening inside this lens. You guys tell me what should be happening. As the um, um, refractive index, it says that the refractive index of the eye has become very strong. So in this case, what is happening? The convergence of rays is before the retina. The image is being formed here. Let's say this is a candle. The image, for example, this is being formed here. Although it is not taken up by the optic nerve because it is not falling on the retina. So just to conclude here, in this one, the rays should be converging here because the power of the lens has decreased. So let me add one more point. In the case of hypermyopia, power of eye lens decreases. That's why the convergence of the rays is occurring behind the retina. So in order yeah. to correct it, you need to use a lens of appropriate power. Okay. Obviously, its power will be more than the lens. Yeah. So that the convergence takes place at the retina. While in the case of nearsightedness, since the power of lens power of lens is more here now so the convergence is occurring just uh, just before the retina yeah right now the appropriate power will be used it could be a negative power right now yes, getting it now apart yeah. from these two conditions that are especially related to the power of the islands there are different other conditions also that the person might develop for example with uh, old age you see the lens of the eye can become very foggy. Yeah. Okay. It can become foggy. Okay. Both, and uh, it can, hmm. both yeah. Yes. Not press myopia. Yeah, that is uh, that leads to uh, a condition called as cataract. C A T E R A C T. Yes, sir. Okay. So in cataract, what happens? The vision of person becomes blurry. Vision becomes blurry. Why is it so? Because in front of the lens of the eye, there's uh, it becomes floggy because protein structures of lens are 
clubbed together it is clubbed together so in the islands there are protein structures that are clubbed together that leads to the floggy vision that basically restricting it the restricting the amount of light that can that can enter the eye yes sir getting it now then you have other conditions also okay uh, talking about the cataract this cataract condition can be rectified it can be corrected using how by using by removing the old lens from the eye and inserting an artificial lens at that place okay yes, so the surgeons what they do they remove this old lens and in place of that they place a artificial lens yeah. or in some cases the foggy the protein layer that has uh, developed uh, above it they will be cutting it out okay they can yeah. remove it out but that is a temporary solution getting it yes sir. okay so some of the uh, problems that develops in the eye has been listed down here for example press myopia is there cataract glaucoma myopia hypermetropia or hyperopia or astigmatism let's talk about them in detail here now look yeah. at what happens in the case of press myopia yes in the press myopia what is happening the eye lens solidification of lens takes place here yeah. so lens you see now this lens here it's not like the magnifying lens that you use yeah. in the structure it is different it is made up of fluid material yeah, it is solid nahi hota it is made up of fluid material so now in the case of press biopia with old age what happens this solidifies this becomes the solid hardens the lens basically hardens right so here yes. what is happening image is focused behind the retina yeah the image is formed behind the retina that's what happens in the case of press biopia got it now yes sir okay now next you have got this cataract here so in the case of cataract look at the normal eye and look at the person suffering from the cataract yeah okay so here what is happening the lens has become cloudy you can see it is cloudy yes, okay sir. so a cataract is the clouding of the normally clear lens of the eye normally lens is very clear but here due to the protein proteins clubbing protein structure found in the uh, lens it starts to club together and hence there is a development of milky layer above the eye lens yeah. also for people who have got cataracts seeing through the cloudy lenses a bit like looking through a frosty or fogged up window okay yeah. that is what happens then you have got the condition of glaucoma glaucoma it's like a group of eye disease yes, okay sir. like out of the different eye eye disease it is one of the type of eye disease that can cause vision loss and it might also lead to blindness by damaging a nerve in the back of your eye that is the optic nerve so in glaucoma this optic nerve is being damaged it can damage this yeah so this is the normal eyes person uh, the eye of a normal person and this is the person the eye of the person who is suffering through cataract hmm? yeah then uh, no glaucoma it's like it also leads to vision uh, uh, loss of vision here and blindness by look eye cataract can transform into glaucoma if the optic nerve is damaged yeah. and the person will be losing the uh, eyesight so person will be permanently blind now yes, same as how the, the vision of a, a, a person suffering from cataract looks like okay so hmm. if the problem further escalates the optic nerves are going to be getting damaged the person might become blind so person suffering from glaucoma will also have such a sight such a vision so is it necessary for a person with uh, suffering with glaucoma to be blind for a person uh, to be blind yeah because in glaucoma what happens so there is an abnormal pressure that develops inside the eye hmm. there is a generation of abnormal pressure generation inside the eye so that will due to you see there is an abnormal pressure normally you so you see vitreous humor vitreous humor is maintaining a pressure inside the eyeball 
in the second chamber of the eye wall right so in the case of glaucoma you will see what happens this pressure is disturbed right yes sir. so if the pressure is disturbed the optic fiber optic nerve not fiber optic nerve here it is damaged so it is damaged since it is carrying the electrical signals from the retina to the brain so if this nerve is damaged obviously the person will be blinded then getting it now yes sir okay now next you have got astigmatism now in astigmatism what happens if you were to see the two image here yeah this is a letter a here the person a uh, the person here with the normal eye will be seeing this letter a very clearly he will be able to yeah. see it very clearly while the person suffering from astigmatism have will have a vision like this why it happens because the curvature of the cornea is not now not uniform you know what is curvature yes sir yes sir this here is curvature here yeah okay so this curvature looks uniform what if the curvature is not uniform what, what if it is like this in that case that person will be suffering from astigmatism okay yeah. so here you see the images are formed at multiple points some you can see two convergence points for example has been showed in this diagram this one and this one here yeah right now so that's for the person uh, it's the same like if like uh, someone gets punched in the hair, uh, in the ear uh, in the head okay mm -hmm. so they will be getting double or uh, or triple images of uh, something yeah okay right now it's like that so yes. that was all about astigmatism now we have got the exercise portion of the chapter okay see the questions before that i would like to pose few questions for example um suppose two mirrors are inclined at an angle of 90 degree and you have yeah. placed a ball how many images of the ball will you be seeing three sir three, three. that is 360 upon 90, 90 yes. so you are getting yes sir four here so oh, since this okay. value is even now it needs to be subtracted with one that is three yeah good yes ahmed are you there or not ahmed is here yes sir mm. okay 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 now uh, like if you were to get white light back from the uh, spectrum yeah right now using a prism you can split the white light into its component color now if you were to get it back convert that uh, uh, spectrum back into the white color what should you be doing uh, sir putting another uh, prism hmm and then the the seven colors uh, get converted into one color again exactly okay um arhan you tell me what was the function of periscopes the periscopes are used to us uh, uh, periscopes are placed in submarines and are used mm. to uh, see the surroundings at the upper mm. they are placed in submarines and yes, tanks sir. what was yeah, the working can... principle so there uh, there were two uh, mirrors placed mm. yeah and uh, it wasn't like an uh, reverse l shape and the light okay. would come and uh it will bounce off uh, the two mirrors and then you can see the image yeah okay arhan uh, at what angle the two two lenses were placed inside it 45 degree yes 45 degree and as i said what was the working principle here hmm? so what is the see... working principle here no What's working what is this device periscope is working on which principle mirrors mirror is there reflection is there how yes. many times the reflection is occurring here more um, than one no yes, yes sir so it work on multiple reflection the yes, principle sir. is multiple reflection that's what i was asking okay what about kaleidoscopes does it also work on the principle of multiple reflection yes sir right now okay so you have got the um you have got the structure in which you places are uh, um cubes uh, 
or pebbles or different pieces of uh, colorful objects okay we pieces of patterns. colorful objects and you will be observing patterns and each time you will be observing different patterns yes, as sir. the um, angle at which light enters the structure if the angle changes you will be observing interesting and different patterns getting it now yes sir okay now look at the questions given here question number 1 Suppose you are in a dark room. Can you see an object in the room? Can you see objects outside the room? Yes. No, sir. You can. You no, can sir. see the objects outside the room while not inside the room. Why is it so? Yeah. Inside the room, you can't see it, but outside the room, you can see the objects. Outside the room, there is no light, and uh, hmm. there is no light to reflect from uh, to in our eyes, so we can't see any objects. Exactly. That is the reason here. because in your room there is uh, no uh, light source okay since there is no reflect reflection taking place there so we won't be able to see any objects question number 2 differentiate between regular and diffuse reflection and does diffuse reflection means that the laws of reflection has failed um, yes, so can i tell okay you answer Say in regular reflection, all the mm. reflections are parallel. Meanwhile, in diffuse reflection, the reflected rays are not parallel. Exactly. And second point, it occurs on a smooth and polished uh, polished uh, surface. Meanwhile, uh, in diffuse reflection, it occurs on a rough surface. Exactly. In and diffuse reflection. and third point is uh, reflected rays are in one direction and in diffuse reflection uh, the reflected rays are scattered in different directions exactly the, uh, the rays are not uh, parallel exactly the incoming rays are parallel while the reflected rays are not parallel to each other yeah. good okay and also laws of reflection is if if um, if the rays are not uh, Uh, parallel reflected rays are not parallel in the diffuse surface. It does not mean the laws of reflection has failed, because laws of reflection are applicable only on. Uh, uh, polished reflection. Mm, polished plane surface. Yeah. Okay, polished plane surface. Curved surfaces are also polished. So we all always have to say polished plane surface. Getting it, yes. Ahmed. Question number three. See this question. Mention against each of the following with. Whether regular or diffuse reflection will take place when a beam of light strikes polished wooden surface. Sir, I don't understand. What is the question saying? Question is saying that what type of reflection will be taking place with these different objects here? Oh, okay. Hmm. So polished wooden table will it will be regular reflection? Okay, Ahmed. Second one, a chalk powder. Yes, chalk sir. powders, chalk powders lying on the table. Okay, will it be a regular reflection or diffuse reflection with the chalk powders? Uh, diffuse reflection. Diffuse reflection. Good. Arhan, you see the next question. Cardboard surface. A uh, diffuse. A uh, diffuse reflection will take place. Cardboard surface. Diffuse reflection. What if the cardboard surface is smooth? Yes, sir. cardboard surface if it's smooth a regular reflection will take place okay here it's not mentioning any specific thing so we'll say that it's a diffuse diffuse reflection marble floor with water spread over it yes sir it's a regular uh, um reflection so regular uh, uh, regular reflection okay if the water is evenly spread okay then it will be a regular uh, reflection hmm But we missed one point here, no? Here, the rays are being are reflect are uh, interacting with the water body. Yeah. Yeah. So with the water body, you see, ref refraction takes place, no? <laughs> hmm. So in that case, neither re regular reflection yeah. is happening, neither hmm. diffuse reflection is happening. Yes. So sir. there, refraction is occurring. Getting it now? Yeah. A piece of paper. No sir, no, uh, no diffuse reflection. Why is it so? 
so uh, because uh, for regular uh, reflection sh- the surface should be shiny uh, and smooth hmm. uh, what about you uh, arhan what do you think they say it's diffuse reflection since the diffuse surface is reflection. exactly the surface has to be smooth and shiny and plain okay what about a mirror obviously regular regular reflection good okay ahmed mentioned the laws of reflection what are the laws of reflection ahmed you mention it yes ahmed um e <laughs> there are two laws of reflection now yes sir <clears throat> what are they it is second way sir hmm the first law of the reflection what does it says sir shall i say okay i'm waiting for ahmed to answer just wait a moment ahmed we talked about yes. the two laws two laws of the reflection we discussed that in the class now yes. say at least one at least one of the law please mention it uh light travel in a straight line what are you saying ahmed laws of reflection that is the nature of the light which you are saying okay that is the nature of the light arham you say you say the answer so the angle of, of course is the angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection and the okay. second uh, the second uh, law is um, that the uh, incident ray the normal and the reflective uh, uh, reflection ray uh, it all lies in the same plane same exactly surface. not surface in the same plane okay okay question number 5 describe an activity to show that the incident ray the reflected ray and the normal at the point of incidence lie in the same plane so what activity should be performed think of an activity mm. <laughs> hmm question number 5 think of the answer arhan in order to verify this activity uh, verify uh, uh, this law what activity should be performed yes can we use a mirror in this case yes sir, we can use but how will we um, how will we see <clears throat> look here we, we use can a mirror it. in this case sir we will be using what a mirror and a, a holder and a ray box hmm using that we can do it so what should be the setup how will you be arranging the things we will place uh, the mirror at the top meanwhile we will place mm-hmm. the ray box uh, slightly uh, slanted at the bottom and we will place the open paper perpendicular hmm look here let's say that you have placed a mirror here right and uh, let's say you are like a laser light is here let's see of using um, a ray box we can see that's a laser light is being pointed in this direction okay yes. right so wherever it's being pointed just draw a normal line on the mirror okay yeah then on the other side just place a piece of just place a surface here any surface it could be a cardboard yeah yes sir. so you will be seeing that a point will be formed uh, the the uh, let's say this is of red color here okay red laser light is being um it is falling on the surface of the mirror so on the piece of cardboard red light should be formed the image yeah. of red light should be formed since it is get, getting reflected from the mirror yes sir or not yes sir we will see uh, the the laser point on the cardboard right yes sir han yes sir <laughs> so wherever you have placed this cardboard okay and look at this dot here and look at this dot here okay and draw a line draw a line Okay, so what do you observe in here? If you were to do the do this thing, 
which law of the uh, which law of the reflection is being proved here in this case if you were to do this activity mm -hmm. so the, so the first law the first law actually if you were to measure the angles here these two angles you will they are lie in the same plane the first law is being proved here that what is happening here if i were to draw the normal angle like this is equal to angle of uh, reflection mm, exactly now when you have placed you must have placed it on any surface suppose humne ise ek plain sheet of paper pe rakha hai ya plain paper pe aur ise humne 90 degree pe rakha tha is mirror ko all right now yes sir now on the paper also draw these rays inki jo pathway hai inko aap paper pe bhi draw karte hain right now let's draw it on the paper like this knotted lines right now okay yes, sir. and then here also you you can draw its pathway right now and here yes. you can draw the normal for the okay and then you can uh, move, you move, you can move move the uh, glass here and you can draw it on the back side also mirror ko hum remove karne ke baad rays ko aage further meet kar sakte hain point par okay so will that not prove that this incident ray here okay this incident ray this reflected ray and this normal all of them are lying on the same plane yes Because sir you, when you will actually trace them on the piece of paper that will prove the second law of the reflection and the first law can be proved by measuring these angles angle i and angle r right now so in this manner we can prove the, uh, we can do the activity to prove the second law of reflection question number 6 see this question read the question um a person uh, a person uh, one meter in front of a plane mirror seems to be dash hmm. meter away from his uh, uh, image so 2 meters exactly 1 meter here and 1 meter here the person will be like this no yes. is the diagram correct no it should be like this no? yeah yeah it will be inverted exactly so 2 meter is the distance between the persons and the, between this person and his image question number b ahmed you answer second question Ahmed, are you there in the class? Read the second question. Yes, sir. Uh, which one, sir? Question number B. This one, yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. If you touch your dash ear with right hand in front of a plane mirror, it will see in the mirror that your right ear is touched with dash. Hmm. So, if you were to touch your left ear. With right hand yes. in front of a plane mirror, it will be seen in the mirror that your right ear is touched with left ear. Yeah. Right, obviously. Okay. So left and left ear. Left, left hand. Left hand. Exactly, left hand ear. Right now, then uh, see question number C, Arhan. The size of the people becomes Large. what? larger when you see it in dim light because it can regulate the amount of light so in order to in, uh, take in more light it will become shorter yes sir right night birds have dash cones than rods in their eyes so they will be having more lesser. cones lesser cones exactly they will be having fewer amount of cones yeah good question number 7 And eight. Which option is correct here? Angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. Always, always. Always, exactly. Yes, Ahmed. It will be always. Question number eight. Image formed by a plane mirror is what is the nature of the image formed by a plane mirror? Virtual, uh, virtual behind the mirror and mirror, of yes, this one. B, second one. B. Virtual, same size, erect. And behind the mirror. behind the mirror behind the mirror so that is a second one right no hmm. yes sir describe the construction of a kaleidoscope what is the construction of a kaleidoscope yes sir 
kaleidoscope is uh, circular in shape cylindrical in shape cylindrical and, in shape yes sir and hmm. at the end uh, end of the kaleidoscope there are two to three uh, mirrors and some broken piece of, uh, bro broken pieces of um, colorful glasses when we see mm -hmm. from the uh, from the other end of the kaleidoscope we can see different patterns okay along with its construction you have uh, uh, described its function also okay the construction is such that the structure is cylindrical but inside that structure you have got three triangular mirrors a prism okay. it's up it's not like a prism because one of the end is open here while a prism is closed right now so you will be having three uh, mirrors like this inside this cylinder like yes, this sir. okay now on the one end of the prism you will attach one more mirror and on this mirror you will be placing different type colorful beads okay a colorful pieces of bangles can be pasted on this on this yeah. surface here on the bottom mirror getting it now while on the other side if you were to look at it look at it you will be getting colorful patterns right now so here yes. you can take um, this uh, made it of different dimensions for example if i take let's say okay, we have taken it off 20 centimeters by 5 centimeters 20 by 5 centimeters this is the dimension yes. of the meter that you will be taking so we will take three such mirrors you will paste them together and you can take a cylindrical pipe okay and at yes, the sir. make sure at the base of this structure you also paste another mirror okay triangular piece of mirror and insert simply in and after that you will be pasting colorful beads on the on this mirror getting it now yeah or else what you can do now you can instead of using the mirror you can use any other uh, simple cardboard sheet also cardboard sheet can also be used yes sir because since the reflection is going to take place from the inner surface of the three mirrors and not from this bottom mirror so, so we will place the mirrors at 60 degree angle at 60 degree exactly also if you were to see here the triangle that here will be formed it will be an equilateral triangle because it's the dimensions of the three mirrors are same good yes, sir. Arhan. it will be 60 degree place at an angle of 60 degree so once once the light gets reflected from the bottom of this um, structure here lights will be getting reflected and colorful patterns will be observed getting it now yes sir yes sir okay and once you have done it you will place it here inside the cylinder okay draw a label sketch of the human eye so that you have to do okay draw the diagram of the human eye label its part question yes. number 11 ahmed what does the question says yes gurmit wants to perform activity 16.8 using a laser torch okay activity 16.1 eight uh, i guess it's given in the book now so you will have to actually refer to your book yes sir okay i don't have the pdf of the book right now otherwise i would have shown it hmm. question number two will simple thing how to take care of your eyes okay that's that's you have to answer it yourself what is the angle of incidence of a ray of the reflected rays at angle of 90 degree to the incident ray here the question says that what is the angle of incidence? No, it's not going to be 90 degree. The question, if you read the question properly, what is the angle of incidence of a ray if the reflected ray is at an angle of 90 degree to the incident ray? So this angle here is 90 degree. Yes, sir. Getting it yes, now? Yes, sir. Angle incidence plus angle R is equal to 90 degree exactly obviously so both of them are equal so it means it is 45 degrees simply yes sir next question how many images of a candle will be formed if it is placed between two parallel plane mirrors separated by 40 centimeter question yes, might seem no read the question properly now they are placed parallel and you know when the 40 degree 
how many images 40 cm look at the, read the question properly na arhan question ko properly padho it's asking how number of images that will be formed the obvious answer is just one answer just one word answer you know infinite infinite number of images will be formed since we know whenever an object is placed between two parallel mirrors infinite number of images are formed getting it now yes sir yes sir so it's infinity how many uh, yeah question number 15 two mirrors meet at right angles okay this is the right angle a ray of light is incident on one at an angle of 30 degree as shown in figure 16.19 draw the reflected ray from the second mirror yes you guys tell me this will be at an angle of 30 degree right now yes sir yes sir okay then we will be drawing a normal here okay now here it is reflecting from 30 degree right and yeah. will this angle not be 30 degree also yes sir alternate interior angles have you studied that have you guys studied yes, that yeah yes sir so this will be 60 degree now so for the second mirror the angle it of incidence is 60 degree right and reflected ray will be also of 60 right. degree reflected angle will also be 60 degree okay question number 16 see this question <coughs> read the question uh, arham Uh, Bhutu stands uh, at A, just on the side of a plane mirror, as shown in mm -hmm. Figure sixteen point twenty. Mm -hmm. uh, can he see himself in the mirror? Also, can he uh, see the image of the objects situated at P, Q, and R? Hmm. So the question says that Bhutu is standing here at point A, just on the side of side of this plane mirror. Okay. Yes, Now, can he see himself in the mirror? Obviously, he can. No. He can see himself in the mirror. If you were to look here, he is yeah. standing here. Okay. Yeah. Also, can he see the image of objects situated at P, Q, and R? So he the cannot object... see the image at R, but he can see it uh, of P and Q. Of P can be seen. What about Q? Can the image of uh, Q be seen? Yes, mm -hmm. sir. No. The image of Q can't be seen here. No? On the the same angle of of the mirror. Mm. Exactly, it's the line of uh, the rays that will be falling from this first uh, from Bujo to the uh, mirrors. It's not directly to the mirror. Yeah. Okay, so Bujo cannot see his image because the reflected ray won't reach his eyes. Yeah. Getting it now. So here, the reflected rays will be getting there. Look here, the light rays will be coming from his body, but it will be reflected in this direction, na? No? Reflection ऐसे ही होगा. So Bujo can't see his image, yes, but he can see the image of P. And for Q also, he can't see it. Or yeah. can he see it? You guys tell me. So the answer he can. is a bit tricky. The answer is a bit tricky. He can see it. Why is it so? Because the rays are coming from here, from this object, but it will be getting reflected towards to the buju, right now. Yes, sir. And yes, question sir. number four, it's like out of the radar. Yes, okay. sir. Okay, so it won't be uh, uh, it won't be seen by the buju. Then question number seventeen, see this question also. Okay, this question you guys will do as assignment and whatever question is left, as the time is exceeding right now. Okay. Yes. So we will meet in next class then with new chapter. But make sure that you complete your assignments. Yes, sir. All right, guys. Then. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz, sir. <laughs> Allah Hafiz. <clears throat> good evening, sir. Good evening. Good evening. How are you guys? Good evening, sir. <laughs> good, good evening. Sir. <clears throat> okay. Uh, we will be just beginning in two minutes. Just let me have some water, and then we will be beginning our class. Okay, sir. So